Good morning students. Welcome to maths class. Today we are going to see about cones. That is conic session. Last class we saw tangent right. So today we are taking in another topic. Conics. So how to form a conic. Okay. So to form a conic we are taking one fixed line what is mean by fixed line that is we can't move this line okay so one fixed line one fixed point one fixed point and one moving point okay so this we can take it as f that is your fixed point and this is your p that is moving point Okay, and uh, this line we can take it as L. This line is called fixed line. Okay, well, that fixed line eh, we can take it as direct dress that name. Okay, well, now we can join this fixed line and moving point and moving point and a line. Okay, now what is conic is if a point, this point moves in a plane such that it distance from a fixed point the distance from a fixed point by a constant ratio to its perpendicular to the fixed straight line then the path described by the moving point is called conic what that meaning is we have to move this point so after moving a point we have some distance right so that the distance between fixed point and moving point will make a constant ratio to the perpendicular distance between a fixed straight line in the path travel this point is traveling that path is called the path described by the moving point is called conic okay now here the fixed point this is your fixed point f that we can take it as focus so what is this fixed point focus in the straight line straight line we can take it as directress straight line is called directress and what is this p p is a moving point p is a moving point okay now uh, what is conic de 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 definition is distance between this and this that is we can take this m point as m uh, f p distance between this and a ratio of distance between this p m which is equal to e okay this e is called centricity is cent Centricity. Centricity. So the distance between FP by PM which is equal to E. That E is called centricity. Okay. We have three types of conic. Parabola, ellipse and hyperbola. So what is parabola? If E equal to 1. That is this distance between FP by PM which is equal to 1 then it is called parabola parabola what is that cone name parabola again if e is less than one uh, e is less than one that conic is called ellipse if e is greater than one that conic is called hyperbola so we are going to study about three conic session first one parabola second one ellipse third one hyperbola okay and one more condition using the second degree equation we can take one more uh, condition okay what is second degree equation ax square plus 2hxy by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 correct Okay, now this is this equation is called circle. Okay, if if a equal to b 
and h equal to 0. So this a and b are equal and if h equal to 0 na, this equation will become circle. Okay. Next parabola. Parabola. When h square minus a b equal to 0. That is if we square this h and minus a into b. If you get answer as 0 then it is called parabola. And ellipsis h square minus a b is less than 0. And the last one hyperbola. That is h square minus a b greater than 0. Okay. So um, here we are going to study parabola, ellipse and hyperbola. Now take your book page number 109. Parabola definition. The locus of a point whose distance from a fixed point is called Fixed point is equal to a distance from a fixed line is called parabola. So what is meant by parabola? Up in the locus of a point whose distance from a fixed point is equal to the fixed distance. Okay. So first we are going to see about parabola. Now what is your general equation is? y square is equal to 4ax. This is your general equation. Parabola general equation is y square is equal to 4ax. Okay. And the diagram will be like this. You can take x axis, y axis. Okay. Curve. Now, this is your focus. A comma 0. This is your moving point. X comma Y. And uh, this line is called directress. Okay. This line is called directress. And this is your X axis. This is your Y axis. This is your diagram for parabola. Y square is equal to 4AX. Okay. And... Um, uh, directress formula is x equal to minus a. And in parabola, we have four types of diagram. Open rightward, open leftward, open upward, open downward. So here, what we saw first is open rightward. That equation is y square is equal to 4ax. Now, it is open leftward. So, open left word na, your equation is y square is equal to minus 4ax. So, your uh, curve will be left side and this is your focus, this is your directress. And what is this equation? y square is equal to minus 4ax. Third uh, diagram is open upward. So this is your curve and inside the curve you will get focus. Outside the opposite to curve you will get directress. Okay. And this is your vertex. Vertex means the curve touches your x-axis and y-axis. And uh, if it is open upward your equation is x square is equal to 4ay. And last diagram is open downward so this is your open di downward diagram inside the diagram you will get focus and x-axis y-axis meeting point is called vertex opposite to curve is your directress and your general equation is x square is equal to minus 4ay okay so totally uh, for parabola we have four types of equation what are the four types of equation? Open leftward, open rightward, open upward, open downward. Is that right? Okay. So here you will have that uh, four diagram formulas. Uh, look at the tabular column. Y square is equal to 4ax, open rightward. Y square is equal to minus 4ax, open leftward. 
x square is equal to 4ay open upward x square is equal to minus 4ay open downward okay so for this four curves we have some formulas okay so axis here see we have axis vertex focus equation of directress equation of lattice rectum sorry length of lattice rectum equation of lattice rectum so first i will tell you what is axis axis means the diagram which presents in your x axis or y axis so if it is x axis now y equal to 0 y axis now x equal to 0 okay so we have to find out axis vertex means i told you know already the curve uh, x axis y axis meeting point this point is your vertex next to focus focus is inside the curve you will get the point that is your focus next equation of directress directress means opposite to the curve a straight line correct so that straight line is your equation of directress next length of lattice rectum so what does mean your lattice rectum is through focus okay this is your focus through focus if we draw one line which touch the both ends of the curve that line is called a lattice rectum okay so what is lattice rectum through focus this is your focus okay through focus if we do a straight line uh, straight line which touches your uh, both curve curve ends is called lattice rectum so length of lattice rectum means uh, length from here to here length Equation of lattice rectum is, we have to find out that equation of lattice rectum, okay. So, for each curve, for example, y square is equal to 4ax, that is open right vertical. Axis formula is y equal to 0. Vertex formula, v 0, 0. Focus, a, 0. Equation of directress, x equal to minus a. Length of lattice rectum, 4a. Equation of lattice rectum x equal to a. These are the formulas for y equal to 4ax that is open left word. Similarly, open right, uh, open, uh, this is open right word, this is open left word. So, open left word, axis y equal to 0, vertex v0, 0, 0, focus f minus a, 0, Equation of directress x equal to a. Length of lattice rectum 4a. Equation of lattice rectum x equal to minus a. Okay. And similarly for open upward and downward also we have formulas. So copy down this whole tabular column in your class work note. Using this tabular column only we are going to do the next exercise. Next we are going to form. Uh, we are going to see general form of parabola. So, what is your uh, uh, parabola formula, open rightward formula? Y square equal to 4ax, correct? If it passes through origin. So, through origin, origin if it passes, what is the equation? Y square is equal to 4ax. If it is not passes through origin, then the general form of parabola equation is y minus k the whole square is equal to 4a into x minus h. y minus k the whole square is equal to 4a into x minus h is your open right word general formula. Okay, wow. Similarly, this is what open uh, right word. Right word, right? Next, uh, open left word, what will be the formula? Y minus K, the whole square is equal to minus 4A into X minus H. This is your left word. Open left word. Next, open upward. Uh, X minus H, the whole square is equal to 
4 a into y minus k and next will be x minus h the whole square is equal to minus 4 a into y minus k uh, this is your open upward this is your open downward now we can get to the exercise problem take exercise 3.6 first question find the equation of the parabola whose focus is the point f minus 1 comma 2 and the directress is the line 4x minus 3y plus 2 equal to 0 so here what is given one focus is given and one directress is given correct focus is minus 1 comma minus 2 and your directress equation is 4x minus 3y plus 2 equal to 0 okay now see this diagram already we saw this is your uh, straight line this is your uh, fixed uh, moving point this is your uh, focus that is fixed point it is given as minus 1 comma minus 2 okay ma? okay so and we know this also fp by this is your pm f p by p m is a, a ratio distance between this uh, uh, how to form a conic right so here what we can take is let p of x comma y be any point on the parabola so we are taking one point on the parabola okay and p m this p m is drawn perpendicular pn is drawn perpendicular to the directress for parabola for parabola and we know f p by p m which is equal to parabola over the eccentricity value is always 1 so f p by p m equal to 1 that is f p square equal to p m square squaring on both sides so f and p f value minus 1 comma minus 2 p value x y so distance formula if we use you will get x plus 1 the whole square x plus 1 the whole square plus y minus 2 minus plus so y plus 2 the whole square which is equal to uh, uh, p is your point m is your directress so directress what is given 4x minus 3y plus 2 divided by in a panano we have to take the square root of x y coefficient square so 4 4 is 16 plus minus 3 square the whole square okay we have to simplify this. So, A plus B the whole square. A square plus B square plus 2AB. Similarly, this one. A square plus B square plus 2AB equal to this one as it is 4X minus 3Y plus 2 the whole square divided by uh, 4, 4, 3, 3 is a 9. 16 plus 9, 25. 25 or square root in 5. So, 5 is the whole square. We can take it as 5 square. So, taking 25 to left hand side, you will get 25 of x square, y square, 2x, 4 by 4 plus 1, 5. Now, right side, we can use a plus b plus c the whole square. Okay, ba? so a plus b plus c the whole square is a square plus b square plus c square and minus minus 2ab that is 24xy minus 12y plus 16x okay so again 25 will multiply pannamna 25x square 25y square 50x 100y plus 125 which is equal to and uh, taking everything to one side so minus again within the paka minus 16 x square 
minus 9y square minus 4 plus 24xy plus 12xy minus 16x and 25x square 16x square uh, combine panamna you will get 9x square 25 uh, 9 so plus 16y square xy only one term so plus 24xy similarly x combine panning in a 34x plus 112y plus 121 equal to 0 is the required equation of the parabola so this is your equation of the parabola okay so you have to learn this properly because if you know the formula only we can do the problems otherwise the problem will be quite difficult okay and uh, the remaining problem we can see in the next class and today's your homework is example 3.31 and learn the formula once again thank you students